It's a great pleasure to be joined now by the Railway Minister, Mr. Suresh uh, Prabhu. Uh, Mr. Prabhu, thank you so much uh, for being with us, sir, uh, on, on Gandhi Jayanti, Rashtriya Swachhata Divas. We've often spoken, sir, in the last uh, couple of years about the importance of Swachhata and the crucial role that the railways has to play in this, uh, both from the points of view of cleaning up the railway tracks, of making sure that open defecation stops also along the railway tracks, and what can be done in the railway carriages to make sure that defecation doesn't fall on the tracks. Uh, and you've been taking some steps on that, which perhaps we can share with us. Am Amit Ji is also here with us and is waiting to hear, hear what you have to say. Well, as you know, <clears throat> the railways play a very key role in terms of keeping cleanliness, hygiene, as well as making the ethos far better. So we have been working on a very big campaign which we have said that rail bade, desh bade, swaj rail, swaj bharat. If you keep railways clean, the India could be clean because they are the icons of that particular city. So we have been working on this for a long time. I am very happy to say it has shown tremendous improvement. And now we are working in a very imaginative way. In fact, we also used Mr. Amita Bachchan, a great icon who is now in the studio, but he is right now on the platforms of several railway stations. Mm -hmm. We are using the Diwar line when, uh, uh, when his uh, Shashi Kapoor says, I have, meri maa hai, to humne ka, aapke paas maa hai, lekin aapke jo, aapke muh mein jo paan hai, usko diwar pe mat thukiye. So yeah, this, we are trying to use many lines like this all over the country. In fact, now, in some places, we have moved on from just keeping the stations clean to another level. Not just keep clean, but keep them beautiful. And this movement was started in Rajasthan, where I requested Valmik Thapar to use his talent and keep Savai Madhapur, which is gateway to one of the best tiger reserves in the world. And that particular station was converted into like an art gallery, but also the wildlife sanctuary. The, all the wildlife was dawning on the walls of that station. That inspired my good friend, the Rajasthan Chief Minister Vasundaraji, and we made many other stations beautiful like that in Rajasthan. <coughs> Those who have been going to the stations are saying, is this a railway station or is it an art gallery? In Tripura, which is really speaking a custodian of a huge Indian culture, tradition, in a very rich way, we converted that into art gallery. And I must say that we didn't do it ourselves. This is a contribution of the people by, by they came forward and they did it. And this has happened in many places. Today, while I'm just here, about half an hour ago, Vikram will be happy to know that Mumbai, which is also the city of my friend and great artist Amitabh Bachchan, that we have got 36 railway stations paid to be painted with art of 5,000 artists. So this is unbelievable, incredible contribution coming out of people's movement. So can you imagine that this is the real transformative way because if you feel that I am going to make it unclean because that's my fundamental birthright to spit wherever I want, to throw whatever I want, but it must be the responsibility of the railways to keep it clean. We can never win the battle. If we challenge the system by saying I'm going to make it unclean and you keep it clean, it is never going to work. So why not work like this? I will not make it unclean. It is railway's responsibility to keep it clean. If we have a mandate, if we have understanding like this, we can transform the railways. We have started a system in railway, this is for the first time, that you can send an SMS, clean my coach. Within less than 20 minutes, 15 minutes, a person comes and cleans the coach. I will give a very interesting anecdote. A person congratulated me on my Twitter, saying that it's a fantastic contribution. If within half an hour, four times somebody sent SMS, and my coach was cleaned four times. After that, another person tweeted it by asking, why the coach had to be cleaned four times in one, within half an hour? Who made it unclean? And this is what is a really the root cause of the problem. So if we can work like this, that will not keep it unclean, but you keep it clean, we can really make it happen. We are launching a massive campaign. Right. I must say that there are several non-governmental organizations are now getting involved. I will give one example. The Dirankaris, they keep coming month after month, week after week, Hundreds of them, volunteers, wearing their own uniform, bringing their own material, and they do cleanliness with such yeah. a dedication as if they are doing a car seva. 
this is something which is very important. Right. And we are involved a lot of such organizations countrywide, and that's how we are successful in keeping clean. But my request, humble request, to all the commuters of the country, please join hands with us. It right. is not possible that we can use one hand to make it unclean, and we should another hand of the railways to make it clean. Why not you bring both the hands, work together to make sure that no uncleanliness and cleanliness is a pledge and a prayer that we'll do with both the hands. Mahatma Gandhi was one of the great champions of this cleanliness campaign. And I must say now, another Gujarati, Narendra Modi ji, is trying to bring this transformation in a big way. He's trying to spread this message all over the country and he has made it as a popular movement. I have not seen any other prime minister leading the movement of cleanliness in this particular manner. He breathes cleanliness, he wakes, wakes up with cleanliness ideas, and he probably sticks to the cleanliness message, which he feels should be carried out by everybody. I think it's a great opportunity. We'll never get such a political will to support us. Let us make, keep our India clean, which will bring in public cleanliness, hygiene, bring more tourists to India, will reduce the cost of public health, probably it will also help in fighting some of the diseases which are spreading like wildfire, we will be able to address all of that. Right. So let's work I together. Wanna, I wanna, let's I wanna, make it happen. Railways will play a useful role. We are only doing that in a big way. We had organized from 17th to 25th, a nine-day program beginning with the Prime Minister's birthday, ending with the birth anniversary of Pandit Dindyal Upadhyayji, a nine-day program, massive program for keeping everything clean, not just station walls, but also hygiene, water, food, and all aspects of it, including the surrounding. And we are involved people into this. And therefore, I feel we can make it happen if you all work okay, together. Mr. I must congratulate NDTV and particularly my good friend Vikram Chandra for really trying to play this role of a change agent. And I think there is no better ambassador for this message than Amitabh Bachchan. In fact, I must thank him. He told me that day at the Rastapati Bhavan that why not, I am also willing to contribute for the railways. I have not been able to accept your offer. I am sorry about it so far. But we'll definitely work together Thank you, to make railways a far better enterprise than what it is today. And this can only happen with the combined effort of all of us. Thank you Mr. so much, sir. Thank you. Mr. Prabhu, thank you so much for, for joining us. And you know, you mentioned the Sandarankari Charitable Foundation. I'm very happy to tell you that they've been working very closely in this entire campaign along with NDTV and RB and others. And they've today, in fact, they are organizing a cleanup in 47 railway stations today. 47 railway stations today they're going to be working to clean up we'll be showing you the pictures during the course of the day including cst which is one of those 10 iconic yeah. locations but amitji you know many suggestions and ideas did come from yes. sudeshi and i think the very valid point he made is why does a coach need to be cleaned four times in one hour i mean you don't have if you go to if you go to europe or you go to america it's not that those stations those trains are being cleaned five four times or five times in an hour yeah just like Suresh Prabhu ji said that why do you have to clean it for 4 hours for 4 hours? And he said that you have to clean it with one hand and the other hand and clean it with the other hand. This is not good. We have to clean it with both hands. We have to clean it with both hands. Neither clean it with both hands and neither clean it with both hands. But wherever it is, clean it with both hands. Suresh Prabhu ji, I wanted to know one more thing. I've seen that many people in small cities or villages जितने भी लोग हैं वो शौच करने जो है वो रेलवे ट्रैक के ऊपर चले जाते हैं ऐसा क्यों होता है और कहीं ऐसा तो नहीं है कि उनके मन के अंदर ये धारणा है कि जब ट्रेन चलती है तो जितना भी मलबा होता है वो चलते समय जो है वो ट्रैक के ऊपर गिरता है तो ये एक हमारे लिए जगह बन गई जहाँ पर हम शौच कर सकते हैं इसके लिए कोई एक परिवर्तन आ सकता है या क्या होता है ये जो मलबा इकट्ठा होता है ट्रेन के अंदर अमिताभ जी बहुत आपने अहम बात कही मैं उसके दो पहलू आपको बताना चाहता हूँ एक तो हमने बड़ी मात्रा में हर ट्रेन में बायो टॉयलेट लगाने की शुरुआत की है बायो टॉयलेट का मतलब ये हुआ कि कहीं ना कहीं ये जो गंदगी ह्यूमन वेस्ट अभी ट्रैक के ऊपर नहीं फैलाई जाएगी उसको पूरी मात्रा में कैप्चर किया जाएगा उसका और एक अलग अंग विश्व में शायद पहली बार हमने और एक टॉयलेट डेवलप की है उसको कहते हैं बायो टॉयलेट कम वैक्यूम टॉयलेट जैसे हवाई जहाज में वैक्यूम टॉयलेट होती है वो वैक्यूम टॉयलेट तो पूरा सत कर लेती है लेकिन उसको डिस्चार्ज करने के लिए कहीं ना कहीं अपने म्यूनिसिपल सुवरेज सिस्टम के साथ लगाना पड़ता है हमारे सब जगह में सुवरेज सिस्टम नहीं है हवाई जहाज जहाँ जहाँ जाते हैं वहाँ तो है लेकिन रेलवे तो बहुत और और जगह पे जाती है इसके लिए नहीं है इसके लिए हमने पूरी मात्रा में उसका इस्तेमाल नहीं किया हमने दो ऐसे जगह पर ग्रीन कॉरिडोर कर दिए जहाँ पर एक भी ट्रेन जो भी ट्रेन उस कॉरिडोर पर जाएगी 
वो पूरी की पूरी ट्रेन में बायो टॉयलेट रहेगी यानी और ट्रैक कभी गंदगी उस तरह से नहीं हो पाएंगे ये हमने किया और आज भी हम पोरबंदर से इसको शुरुआत करने वाले हैं और इस तरह के हम लोग बहुत सारे ट्रैक कवर करेंगे बायो टॉयलेट लगाने का काम एक बड़ी मात्रा में चल रहा है एक एक, एक बिंदु हुआ दूसरी जगह पर यह है जहां बड़े शहर है मुंबई है दिल्ली है चेन्नई है हमारी बड़ी मात्रा में झुग्गी झोपड़ियों में रहने वाले लोग जो आज रेल ट्रैक का सहारा लेते हैं उसी के सहारे वहां पर रहते हैं बसते हैं वो लोग अपनी दैनंदिन प्रक्रिया करने के लिए रेल ट्रैक का इस्तेमाल करते हैं उसके लिए गंदगी फैल जाती है मैंने म्यूनिसिपल कॉरपोरेशन को विनती की है कि हम सब मिलकर एक मोबाइल टॉयलेट लगाएंगे वो मोबाइल टॉयलेट इन लोगों के लिए इस्तेमाल पर आ जाएंगी लेकिन सही मात्रा में ये जो झुग्गी झोपड़ियां हैं उससे एक तो सेफ्टी का भी खतरा है उनके लिए भी खतरा है और मुंबई शहर में भी बहुत सारी जो लोगों की जाने जाती है उसकी वजह यही है कि लोग ट्रैक क्रॉस करते रहते क्योंकि वो बेचारा बच्चा छोटा बच्चा उसको क्या पता है वो झुग्गी झोपड़ी में रहता है वो दौड़ने दौड़ने शुरू कर देगा उसको हादसे में उसकी मौत हो जाती है बहुत बुरा लगता है तो मुझे लगता है ये काम करने के लिए सिर्फ साफ सुथरा काम नहीं होगा तो एक मुझे लगता है शहरों में रहने वाली जो आबादी है जो आज रेल के किनारे रहकर झुग्गिया झोपड़ी में निवास करती है ऐसे लोगों को पुनर्वसन करने के लिए राज्य सरकार और केंद्र सरकार और म्यूनिसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन भी मिलकर काम करती है तो उसका भी एक राहत बड़ी मात्रा में मिल पाएगी हमने ये जो बायो टॉयलेट लगाने की शुरुआत की है मुझे कहने के लिए खुशी है कि पिछले छह महीने में हमने जो बायो टॉयलेट लगाई वो जो हमारे जो टारगेट था उससे भी ज्यादा है और पिछले साल की तुलना में तो बहुत ही ज्यादा है हम 2019 से पहले महात्मा गांधी जी के बर्थडे के पहले हमारे जो प्रधानमंत्री चाहते हैं उस तरह से हम उसको पूरी मात्रा में करने की कोशिश करेंगे बड़ी मात्रा में आंदोलन हम कर रहे हैं और उसमें भी क्या इनोवेशन हो सकता है इसीलिए भी हम काम करें कि मैंने एक चैलेंज दिया है सभी देश के लोगों को या कहीं विश्व के लोगों को कि वॉटरलेस और ऑर्डरलेस टॉयलेट किस तरह से बनाई जा सकती है उसका हमें तकनीकी ज्ञान दीजिए क्योंकि पानी भी टॉयलेट के लिए आवश्यक है लेकिन पानी इतना नहीं मिल पाएगा जितना पानी हमें लगेगा आगे आने वाले दिनों में मैं बीस पच्चीस साल की बात की बात कर रहा हूं तो मुझे लगता है ऑर्डरलेस और वाटरलेस टॉयलेट बनाने में भी हम कामयाब रहते हैं तो बड़ी मात्रा में इसका भी लाभ हमें मिलेगा राइट सुरेश प्रभु जी वन ऑफ द टेन आइकॉनिक लोकेशन फोकसिंग ऑन दैम टूडे एज पार्ट ऑफ द क्लीन थॉन Uh, one of them is CST, uh, you know, which is of course right here in Mumbai, uh, and it's one of those places which we, which we are trying to focus on how it can be cleaned up. Let's just uh, play for all of you, and we will be doing this for all ten of these locations. What we think are the real issues at the CST, and what the possible agenda items can be to clean up the CST. So first, let's just show you some of the issues around the CST, and then, uh, Mr. Prabhu, we'd like to get your views on it as well. It's majestic, it's iconic, it's awe-inspiring. Built in 1888, the Victoria Terminus was the symbol of Bombay as the Gothic city. It was renamed after the great Maratha warrior Chhatrapati Shivaji and earned a World Heritage tag from UNESCO in 2004. The 138-year-old terminus is the functional headquarters of the Central Railways, and with a footfall of five lakh people every day, maintaining cleanliness is that much harder. While railways and civic bodies have increased cleaning activities, problems persist. The railway tracks are littered with human excreta, and rodents roam freely. The stench from toilets is overwhelming and needs an urgent overhaul. Waste is littered, especially where small eateries and hawkers are located. The potential is immense. All it now needs is dedicated and conscious Mumbaiers who will help turn it into reality. well all through the day it's going to be our effort not just to talk to you about the problem in each of these 10 locations but also specific agenda actions and specific solutions that we can try and find so suresh prabhu still with us and i'm going to go across to my colleague ketki who's there at csd uh, right may now may i just may i just yeah uh, sorry sir, i just want to say something about csd dekhiye itni sundar ye ek uh, imarat banayi gayi hai is railway station ke liye रात को आप इसकी लाइटिंग खूब खूबसूरत करते हैं कि बाहर से ये अच्छा दिखे आप रात को जाइए कभी सीएसटी में तो यू विल फाइंड 
it's beautifully lit. But if it's going to be looking good outside, you want to make sure that it looks good inside as well. And I think that's something that we need to learn. You're ready to make it look pretty and, and, and wonderful and, and light it up and make it look nice and clean and beautiful. But don't you think that when you go inside it, it should look equally pretty and good? Not just the externals that Absolutely, matter. Yeah. So it's a very valid point sir, that you just made. So uh, Suresh Prabhu is still with us and Ketki is also joining us. Let's just try and find some of the specific agenda items that we've been able to think of. Um, Ketki, so uh, if you look at the agenda items and if we in fact bring them up first, cleanliness of the railway tracks is one of the things we should I think be looking at at CST. Maintaining the hygiene of the public toilets there and around it and the cleanliness of the surrounding area, it's not just CST itself, but the surrounding areas around it, that has to be, uh, uh, that has to be kept in mind. Ketki, any other uh, agenda items that you can think of and then maybe we'll put that to the railway minister as well? Ketki, well, exactly. you hear me? When you talk about the railway tracks, one constant problem is the problem of rodents. And you know, Mumbai is a city that gets so much rainfall. Rodents is anyways a problem. If you also look at how, you know, September alone has seen seven deaths in Mumbai just because of leptospirosis. So the rodents problem is a very real problem. Uh, yes, we have to acknowledge that railways has seen a change as far as cleanliness is concerned. It has changed for the better. But even as far as, you know, just look at the number of people who come to CS every day, over 5 lakh on an everyday basis. So when you look at those kind of footfalls and numbers, certainly the number of toilets are not commensurate with the number of people who are actually coming into the station. So uh, inside the station, the toilet facilities, something that the minister also touched upon. But the other thing also is about the outside cleanliness, because there's a lot of restaurants nearby which uh, contribute to the problem of cleanliness here in the CST. All right, uh, all right, Kate K, I, I, I think that, that graphic is slightly wrong, the one which is on screen. I think they're mixing up CST with the Varanasi there. But um, uh, can, I, can I just come to you, Suresh Prabhuji, looking specifically at, at CST, um, some of those points that we looked at, cleanliness of the railway track, there's plastic waste, and this is, by the way, a national problem. Anywhere that you look at our railway tracks, there's so much plastic that's lying on the side, rodents at CST, cleanliness of the surrounding area, especially the places where hawkers are. Any uh, specific ideas that you might have on CST? Yeah, we are working on all the ideas, but my request is, as I said, that's a fundamental issue, that we keep cleaning it round the clock. We have got people working on it round the clock. We are trying to beautify the CST by keeping it. Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj's memorial also will be put there. But as I said, we can do many things if people also cooperate. If there is a, so much of footfalls of several lakhs of people every day, and those people also cooperate with us, we can definitely make it better. Like you go to any other country in the world, the cleanliness is there because it is not made unclean to begin with. If we keep all the stations that we keep it clean, whenever the train starts, it is clean. As I gave you an example of half an hour, so this is what we are trying to do and therefore we will continue to work. There is a huge plan for CST which we have prepared. I have just discussed it with the Honorable Chief Minister of Maharashtra just a few uh, minutes ago. Also the municipal corporate, I had a meeting in Mumbai in which all the state government officers, all the municipal commissioner and all officers, all my general managers, all of them we sat together to have prepared a plan of action for the city, for the state and for major stations of India. We are also trying to not only, as I said, keep them clean, but we are also making them beautification. But let's join hands and today is a very good example. Today I had uh, Mumbai first and um, uh, make a difference, mad. Two organizations have come forward and this is what is really necessary. If we can work like this, we can definitely make the difference. We need more mad people to come forward, mad I'm making is make a difference people, to make a difference and work together. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the contribution of NDTV, Vikram Chandra, and of course, if you have an ambassador like Mr. Amitabh Bachchan, we can do wonders with the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. Thank you very much. Look forward to working with all of you. Appeal to all my countrymen, 125 crore people, take a place, work together. India can never be unclean. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, uh, thank Suresh Prabhu ji. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. I think us. one I of the things that you, know, you, you get to see, you see workers actually cleaning up the place. 
I feel why should we have workers cleaning up the place? We should ourselves make sure that they are not required. If we, if we know somewhere in the minds that, yeah, let's, you know, make this place dirty because there are workers that are going to come and clean it up. I think we have to get out of that syndrome. Why, why go with this thought that there is somebody that's going to clean it up? Why make it clean, in the, uh, make it dirty in the first place? And why give an op, uh, live with this thought that there's somebody else that's going to come and clean it? As we saw in the, in, in the, in the clip just now, you saw workers, you know, wearing yeah. masks and cleaning up the tracks. Yes, there is something that should be done. But I mean, you can easily avoid them no, no. doing that. Amitabh ji, this is the root, root point, mood point. Ji, bilkul. No, no, absolutely right. Absolutely, you know, we really need, as you said, two things. One, I have personally been saying this because I dealt with water earlier, that we don't have a plenty of water to make, use it for cleaning the place. Sure. So this why I talk about waterless toilets. But also, we, why should we use water? Number two, as you correctly said, why to make it unclean to begin with so that we really need to initiate the process of cleanliness? Why not integrate, mainstream the thinking in our own mind that I'm not going to make it unclean? Let's take that pledge. Gandhiji did it. Gandhiji said the life must change. The change must begin within me. I should be the change agent myself, the type of change I want to see in others. So today is this pledge. If we take NDTV, Amitabh Bachchan, Prime Minister, join hands, we can make it happen. But that's not the three people issue. This is not an issue of one institution. This is an issue that we need to take it as a pipe, part of a personal life. We should do it. India will be a different country. Thank you very Absolutely. much. All the best to all of you. Looking forward to working with you. Thank you Thank very you much. Sir. Thank you so much, Suresh Prabhuji.